All right, what's going on everybody, Nick here. And today, I've got a special video. I'm gonna call it the 1v1 pond hopping challenge because that's basically what we're gonna do. Me and my friend that you saw in the last video are gonna go fish some ponds in his development as well as around his development. And at each pond, we're gonna fish for about an hour, hour and a half, and we're gonna see who can catch the most fish at those ponds. And we're just gonna keep skipping and pond hopping all day. And at the end of the day, we're gonna see who is the winner. Should be pretty fun, so um, let's get into it. Okay, so when you're pond hopping to pond, especially when you're pond hopping to ponds that you don't know, like you haven't fished before, it's good to take a variety of baits. So I'm gonna take some crank baits. I'm gonna take some soft plastics. Taking some stankos. Always gotta have the stankos. And I got some jerk baits. So we're gonna see. Uh, you just want something. You want to make sure that you are prepared for whatever you get, right? So if it's weedy, you want to have worms, you know, worms instead of jerk baits and crank baits. If it's clear without any weeds, you want to have crank baits and jerk baits. So just make sure you have everything that you need so that you're prepared to catch fish. You have a knife? You have one in your bag? Yeah, that's... That'll get her done. Oh. That'll get her done. There we go. Alright, I guess I'll just follow just you. Follow me, yeah. Okay. Let's get her done. Alright guys, we made it to the first spot. Yeah, basically today we're just going to be pond hopping. Now typically pond hopping is where you go out, you don't catch anything, you just hop in the pond because you're just so mad at it. But uh, Hopefully today, that doesn't happen to us today. Yeah, we're just going to try out a few different ponds today. Weather's beautiful, 72 degrees, very nice. Let's do it. This pond looks pretty juicy. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three. So basically guys, today I'm using a Shimano Cronark Baycast Reel. It's got a 16 5 to 1 ratio on a Shimano Kumara Baycast rod, speci uh, specifically for crankbaits. And on that, I have basically just a simple Rapala, I believe it's an X-Wrap of some sort. Uh, I believe the weight is about 3 fourths of an ounce. We'll probably dive 3 to 5 feet. We'll see what we can get on it. All right. All right, so what I'm using is a spinning reel. This is a Fenwick Eagle. It's a medium, moderate action rod. Very, very nice rod. I got eight pound um, Lovis green monofilament on it. The reel I have is a Daiwa Crossfire. This is a fourth ounce lead bullet weight to a Gamagatsu 4 aught worm hook. And then I got a Berkeley worm on here, just a motor oil color and scent. So see if we can get something here.
bait change to a single blue and black. Okay, well I just walked up to here and I spooked the bass from under the grass mats right on the bank. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Set the hook and there's another fish just shot out from under the grass mat. That might be the key. All right, well, I'm off camera. I just got this little guy. I knew they were under the mats, so I pitched in there with a, uh, with a Senko, a black and blue Senko, Texas rigged with a weight, and this little guy smoked it, smoked it. And I got him good too, he wasn't going anywhere. Nice, nice fish for a pond. No biggin'. What's up? What's up? He cast it right there, and he didn't get this one. He's throwing a crankbait. I cast it in there with a finesse worm or a Senko, and he smoked it. Focus on him. There we go. See if we can't get the release on him. Here you go, buddy. There you go, shoots off. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Let's get some more. All right, guys, now I basically switched to a spinning reel setup. I have an Okuma Celio 7 foot 6 inch medium light rod and on that I have a Shimano Sienna reel. I'll be throwing a small blue fox spinner and on it I tied some sparkle as well as some red feathers just to make it more visible for the fish. Hopefully I'll get something on it. We are heading to a new spot. Caught one fish at that pond, had a couple more bites. But uh, nothing, nothing to show for it, so we're going to head to a new spot, uh, or a new pond in his development. Alright, now we're at the second pond of the day, and off the top it's already a lot clearer, and we've already spotted a bass and a couple bluegill here, and it's looking pretty promising. He's got one. Oh, that's a decent bass. Pull him up. <laughs> oh, there you go, baby. <laughs> Look at that pretty, pretty oh, fish. Perfectly hooked, too. That one's beautiful. Perfect. That is a pretty, pretty Yep, very beautiful bass right here. It's probably about a poundish, I would say, maybe a pound and a half. Caught it on that little blue fox spinner right there with that fire tiger color. Man, beautiful fish. Beautiful, and look at that tail. That's bloody. He's spawning. Yeah, he's That's a spawn spawning. out fish right there. Beautiful fish. There That's you go. <laughs> and he's gone, baby. Give me some. There we, there we go. Let's get some more. I just got another one. Probably not even in frame, actually. Little, little guy. Very little guy. But pretty fish nonetheless. Little largemouth. 
I love it. He just got another one on the same bait he just used. That's a really dark one. You could tell he's been hiding under. He has been. Let me get him. I got him. Okay. Look at that. Everybody, another beautiful bass. Good so, one. A little bigger than last time too. Beautiful fish. Oh, really yeah. happy with this one. We'll let him back now. Good stuff. Oh my god, there's a big bass Guard in the bed just chasing bluegill. I pitched this wacky worm to Senko right next to him. He smashed it. Absolutely smashed it right away as soon as he saw it. That is a good, good, good fish right there. About a pound, pound and a half. That's a good fish. Three to three, right? Yep, three to three. Look Basically, at that one. Kept, I kept watching along the shoreline. It was probably protecting its bed or something. This one's definitely getting up there towards two pounds. Absolutely beautiful bass right there. Yeah, beautiful that's a nice fish. one. Good right. stuff. Good stuff. All right, everybody, I'm on to fish number four of the day. I've been constantly catching them on this fire tiger little spinner made by Blue Fox or Blue Wolf, one of the two. Another beautiful fish, a little smaller than the last one. Really happy with it. There you go. Beautiful fish. All right. All right, everybody, we're on to fish number five. I've actually been fishing on the other side of the pond here. Nick's still over here in this corner. He just missed one. So five to three right now. So basically I've been fishing over in this little inlet for about 30, 40 minutes and I've caught about three bass over here so far. It's actually one going by right now. I don't think you can see it. Here, let me see if I can. Let's see. So basically now we're just fishing in this little inlet that I've been fishing in for the past 30, 40 minutes. I've caught about three bass here. Two of them I was actually able just to see from the bank and I was able to cast right by them and get them. So we'll see what we get.
most insane fish catch, dude. Oh. You see what happened? No, we didn't get it. I got reeds, and so my crankbait started floating to the top, and he smacked it on the top of the water. Even Oof. though it had reeds on it. Oh my god. Yeah, you oh can god. still see some of them on it. That is insane, dude. Look how he ate it, too. He wanted it. Beautiful bite. Good fish, about a pounder. I love fishing, man. <laughs> that was like the most insane bite. Right there. That was good. And there he goes. All right, good job, dude. Awesome. All right, just got another one. I literally sat here for like 10 minutes trying to get this guy. He would follow it in and then turn off, and a couple times he actually smacked it on the side, and the, the hook just didn't get him, I don't know why, but finally he gets it. That's a good one. Got him on that KVD 1.5. Dude, this guy followed it in. Want to call a lunch break? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, it's going to be a little past 2 o'clock right now, and we've been going since 9.30, so we definitely got to take a lunch break. Right now, we're 5 to 5. Definitely been catching some good bass. Tied up, baby, tied oh. up. Yeah, we'll see what yes. we can do after lunch. Today's go going very well. I definitely got to say that. All right, catch you in a bit. About to chow down, baby. Let's get it. I could totally pull a Joey's boat tour. Alright, we're at the new spot. I'm not gonna give out the name of this lake because it's kind of a special lake. Kind of a honey hole, if you will. And I don't really want a lot of people coming here and fishing it. So see if we can get something. You just catch these little guys right off the dock. They're really, really fun to catch, really easy. Little white bass. Finally. We've been here for like two hours with nothing. He finally got a bite on the bottom rig. We'll see what it is. Keep that pressure on him though. Keep pressure on him. What is that, dude? You don't want to come up. It's a cat, probably. Oh yeah, it's definitely a cat. There we go, Whoa. baby. Is it? Oh yeah, that is a channel. That's definitely a channel. Bigger channel. Look at that sucker. Look Beautiful at that fish, sucker. Baby. Now that is a catfish right there. And we there. were about to pack up and leave too. That's a nice one. That's like a two, two and a half. Here, let's weigh him. Decent. Okay, so this fish right here has one eye. Yeah, let me weigh him. missing an eye. Here, let me flip weird. him over and weigh this nice. What does that say? We are looking at a... Oh, whatever. 2.3. Let's get that release on me. So this is without a doubt the biggest fish of the day. Two pound, three ounce. Nice big old channel catfish. Mm-hmm. Nice old fish. All right, let's let him back. All right, Mr. Catfish, and there he goes. Back down to the depths. Yes! <laughs> Finally. All right, guys, we're ending off the day, and look at that sunset. That's a picture-perfect sunset. You could not ask for something better then off a really good day. The pond hopping challenge ended in a tie, actually. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned and, uh, for the part two of that, basically. We're gonna do a part two where we go back out and see if we can, uh, kind of like a sudden death kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, fish every day. <laughs>